What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the Oak and Soul Ring. This has been a big topic in the community since the public test server has gone live for the High Isles chapter. The Oak and Soul Ring will be a new mythic item in uh, the High Isles chapter. So it's one that I think a lot of people will like to get their hands on because it has a lot of set bonuses. Uh, what you get when you get this ring, of course, is 450 weapon and spell damage, 5,280 armor, 4, uh, 450 health recovery, 450 magic recovery, 450 stamina recovery. Also, 3,737 max health, 3,737 uh, max magic, and 3,737 max stamina. It also will add 1,973 crit chance while equipped. The only kind of thing that makes this a very interesting mythic to me is you are unable to swap between your primary and backup weapon sets so when you're wearing this ring you're only going to be able to use one bar and i'm assuming that they did that because if you could actually swap bars for this ring this thing would be extremely powerful it might be overpowered it's got so many different things that it is giving you between weapon and spell damage between armor between health recovery magic recovery stamina recovery max magic max health max stamina and crit chance this thing would be absolutely insane if you could swap bars i see this being a very good solo build ring i think this would be extremely good on a solo build with one bar there's been great one bar builds in eso in the past there's a lot of people out there that like to use one bar builds doing dungeons and things like that. We'll have to wait and see if you can make a good enough class with one bar to really do in-game things like veteran dungeons, uh, you know, maybe even just normal trials, vet trials. I'm not really thinking that this is going to be something that you can use in in-game uh, activities like that. I may be completely wrong. There may be some players out there that can find some crazy one bar builds that this ring will be very viable with. But I really see this ring being made for solo players, for solo arenas, for things like that. Um, if it does turn out to be where it is usable in in-game content, I think this is probably Zoss's answer to all the players out there that hate light weaving and you know animation canceling. There's a lot of players over the years since the game has been out, whether they're brand new to the game or have played for a really long time. Either you're a fan of light weaving and you can do it or you don't like it. It's just one or the other. Uh, that's always been a topic in ESO that light weaving, you know, it at the start was a bug and it kind of became a game feature. And a lot of people were kind of hoping that it would be kind of taken away, but it never has. You know, Zoss has left it in the game. So if this is something that is usable in in-game content, it, I think it's definitely Zoss's answer to those players that do not like light weaving and animation canceling. But I'm not really seeing it being as viable, being able to do as much damage with one bar. Uh, in the end, I, I just don't know if you can get away with doing as much damage as you need to do in, in a veteran, you know, setting, veteran content setting that you could with two bars. But overall, I do think it's going to be a very strong mythic that a lot of people will like to get a hold of. And I'm definitely going to have to uh, get this when, it, when, you know, the High Isles chapter releases here on console because I would like to try this out, like I said, in things. You know, your Maelstrom Arenas, you know, uh, your, your solo dungeons, this will be very good. We know that we're going to get more solo dungeon content in the future. Zoss has already talked about that. I think this would be a very handy, uh, you know, mythic item uh, for solo players. If you like to do, you know, maybe solo dungeons. If you're a fan of just doing solo content in the game in general. If you play by yourself, you're not in a guild, you don't have friends that play a lot. I think this will be a very interesting pickup considering all the different things you can do with it because you're getting you know stats for spell damage for weapon damage for stamina recovery for magic recovery and so on so this is going to be a very good mythic item for hybrid builds and i think it's going to be a very good uh, mythic item for solo players or doing harder solo content or if you're a person that likes kind of like i do i like going in and try to solo dungeons just as a challenge so i'm kind of curious to see exactly how the community uses this ring I'm curious to see if it's actually going to be viable in in-game content if someone can get enough damage out of a one bar build and, and use this ring or use this mythic as their you know mythic item for that build so leave me a comment with your thoughts what do you think about the new oak and soul ring mythic coming to the high isles chapter leave me a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace